Pair 1, it's phone, Rena. We just got our hands-on look at the HTC Evo 3D, a 4G-capable phone, similar to the HTC Evo 4G, but of course, it has now a 3D display, and you can even take shoot still shots and even video in 3D, so it's pretty nice. Um, we're going to do a quick hands-on, give you some a quick look at it, and just tell you some of the features about it. First thing is a 4.3-inch display, same size as the Evo 4G, but it has high resolution. It's QHD resolution. So uh, with QHD, you get a lot, of, a lot, a lot better clarity with it. That's 540 by 960 pixels, and overall, it looks really nice. We like the look. The color output looks pretty nice. Pretty large screen, of course. Touch capacitor buttons. You know, they're circular in nature, just like the Evo 4G. So they're quite distinguishable here. On the left hand side, you have a micro USB port for charging, connecting to your computer, and also that's where you output the video, the uh, high definition video, so uh, stored locally on it. On the right hand side, you have a bunch of different stuff. You have a volume rocker it's it's recessed uh, but at least you can still kind of press them pretty good you have a button there to be in 2d and 3d you have the, the uh, shutter key here so it's pretty well sized nothing at the bottom at the top you have a dedicated power button and uh, as you can tell here it's raised a little bit better than the previous uh, EVA 4G 3.5mm headset jack you have a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera so you can take still shots and also do video chat against 4G so that's wide max connectivity so you expect some blazing fast speeds and in the back you have a th uh, you have a camera you have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera you can take 3D videos and, sh and pictures of course dual LED flash and we can see Design-wise, it's a uh, nice, pretty nice, a little bit better improvement than the uh, Evo 4G from last year, especially the back cover. It has this uh, really nice pattern, really good grip. Overall, it seems to be uh, pretty much the same size, and overall looks really nice. It's running the latest version of the Sense UI. You can see it has a helicopter view, and there's just a lot more neat-looking transition effects. Now, instead of having a carousel, as you notice, it's almost like a 3D cube, kind of reminiscent of the old Windows Mobile days with touch flow. But it's pretty nice. Gives it that really nice. 3D lock here. Let's quickly launch some of the applications here. I will show you the uh, 3D features of the uh, of the, the Evo 3 3D device here. So uh, let's quickly launch the browser here. So let's get there. Okay, so there we go. We're going to show you the uh, keyboard here. You can tell it's pretty good. And we'll just get the keyboard. There's the keyboard, portrait, portrait style, sense keyboard. Same old one that we're, we, we expect out of it. Pretty well sized, and of course the size of the display makes it pretty good here. Um, see what else we got. We'll go to the gallery so we can show you with the 3D. Um, it has the uh, the uh, 3D display, so it doesn't require any any uh, 3D glasses, which is the great thing about it. So we'll quickly see if we can load up a video here. Let's play this video here from the start. So it has a parallel matrix oval overlay which allows it to be in 3D. And obviously in, in video you might not be able to see it, but it works relatively real well here um, just by looking at it. It takes a couple of seconds for it to focus in, but once you see it, once you have it, uh, you definitely notice the 3D effect with it here, so it's pretty nice. And of course you can also shoot videos here, so I'll quickly show that off here. Just hit the uh, shutter key here, and as you can tell, once it comes up, I'll show you the uh, the camera interface here. Oh, let's try that again here. So here's the camera interface. Taking a second. Again, this is just a pre production, you're not a final production one here. So I'll just wait up and see what it does. So here it is the, uh, the interface. Oh, crashed again. So we don't support the. So we don't support. Can I borrow this cable, So this is HDMI. Well, the camera interface seems to not be working out right now, but it will have the ability to shoot video and also uh, still shots in 3D, so it's really nice. It's blazingly fast. It has a dual-core processor, 1 gigahertz, uh, I believe it's uh, the latest Qualcomm chip, uh, which should be nice for the device. But it's looking like to be a solid handset overall for spread. No announcement as far as pricing or de definitive release date, but we'll keep a look out on that. But it looks like a great evolutionary step again for the Evo line, and if you want to read more more about this, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.